I'm away from home and living in residence. I'm finally an independent person. And you know what they say, with great independence comes existential dread. About a month into living on my own, and I'm realizing that high school has not prepared me for real life. You know what they don't teach you in school? Budgeting, how to make friends, taxes, prioritizing activities. Like, should you watch five hours of Netflix before or after you nap? How much your organs sell for in the black market so you can pay for school? Why that person never called you back even though you thought you had a connection, but it's okay, it's fine, whatever, you're over it, just drop the subject, all right? I recently learned the first one the hard way budgeting. My school has this free grocery bus that runs once a week and it drives you to and from a place full of stores. I, being the frugal, broke student. I get on the bus to take me shopping and I wasn't even entirely sure where this bus was going. I was too uncomfortable to ask anyone because who gets on a bus without knowing where the destination is? This guy. Turns out I did get on the right bus and I get to the grocery store. I prepare myself for my first grocery shopping experience for myself by myself. After spending 10 minutes figuring out which salt I should buy, I make it to the cereal aisle. I now have seven boxes of cereal. Why am I the way I am? So I go over to the cashier to buy my life mistakes when this thought crosses my mind. What will the cashier think of all my life choices when they see all the cereal that I'm buying? My mind, being as irrational as it is, thought of this situation. I can't believe how much of a low life this person is. Does he not know how to cook? He's never gonna make it in life. I hope he fails his courses because of how much cereal this person buys. When in reality, it probably would have gone something like this. Did I remember to turn off the coffee maker? I could go for some coffee right now. This cereal's a good price. I should buy cereal. But in case the first scenario happened, I played it safe and took the self-checkout. So I scanned about three boxes and I already filled up a bag. So I take the bag off and I put it in my cart. And then this elegant sound of a woman's voice emanates from this hunk of technology. Please place item back in bagging area. Oh sweet Lord Jesus, please have mercy on my soul. What do I do? And I put the bag back in the bagging area. But I can't put my other boxes of cereal in a new bag because it's in the way. So I just slide the old bag off to the side. Please place item back in bagging area. Oh man, oh man, this is not good. This Please is place not item good. Back in bagging area. Attendant has been notified. Do you need help, sir? I don't know. So after the whole fiasco sorted out, I'm on my way, life's good. Except that I had too much cereal that any one person could eat. And what do you do with too much cereal that any one person could eat? Well, I'll tell you what you do with too much cereal that any one person can eat. You throw a BYOB. Bring your own bowl. Kellogg sponsor me. Not exactly, it kind of just went down like this. So what program are you in? Animation. Cool. Cool. But honestly, it was really fun. I invited people in my residence to come over and watch cartoons and eat cereal. Because one, I know literally no one in my residence. And two, cereal and cartoons are a good foundation for friendship. I guess the moral of the story is, give people free things and they'll be your friends. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, I still have so much cereal.